Shadow Box. Oh. There you go. Another body armor 4x4 box. This is going to be legit. What is up, Insomniacs? Midnight Sound 518 here, back with another upgrade for Sasha, my 2017 Tacoma TRD Pro. So today we are going to be installing the Highline, sorry, the Body Armor 4x4 Highline High Clearance uh, Wings, Side Wings, whatever. Uh, so these guys are going to be going uh, pretty much attaching up against our existing uh, Highline front bumper from Body Armor 4x4. And what it's going to be doing is it's going to be replacing this little bit of plastic trim right here that runs all the way out and around to the uh, wheel well here. It's going to be removing this and replacing it with the same steel uh, composition that we have for the front bumper. So I'm very excited. Uh, there's not a lot of information or like pictures and stuff like these out because they I think they are a relatively new product that Body Armor 4 before just released. So there's a couple of uh, photos on Google, but there's really not a heck of a lot. But I think it's gonna look great. It's super easy to put in. Uh, what I really like though, is that we get to keep our factory fog lights and we even get a spot for two more uh, four inch light bars to go right there on the bumper. So now we have um, more like fog angle or uh, like ditch light sort of angle coming off the front of the truck. Uh, Cause these lights aren't, aren't gonna be facing directly forward like that. 40 inch light bar, sorry, the 20 inch light bar is going to be, these are going to be sticking out at an angle, giving us more clear or more view of the uh, the side of the truck, which is really cool. And I like that a lot. Um, yeah, so without further ado, let's hop into the install. So these are the Body Armor 4x4, uh, high clearance side wings for the bumper. Bam, check it out. And I know you guys may be asking yourself, well, why didn't you just get a high clearance bumper to begin with? Uh, and the real answer to that is I didn't like the look of any of the um, like full-sized uh, bumpers that they had on the market for the Tacoma. Um, I really liked the Highline, the Body Armor 404 Highline bumper because it followed the body lines of the uh, Tacoma and all that sort of stuff. And it, it really didn't take away from that stock front end look. Um, the nice thing about these ones is uh, though they do take away from the stock front end look a little bit, they don't uh, really add that much of a change hey, to the front end uh, because the plastic that's already there right underneath the fog lights is the only thing that's getting replaced uh, with the steel. There's a slightly different look to the steel versus the plastic, a little bit more angular, uh, but I think it's going to look sick. So I'm super excited and uh, yeah, we're going to grab this other one out of the box here. We're going to check it out, see what it looks like. and. We're gonna get into the install. So in the box, my dudes, we got ourselves a whole bunch of goodies. Uh, so we have the actual high clearance uh, side wings right here. And then we have two mounting brackets. So these are gonna allow us to mount the wings to the uh, vehicle on both the passenger and the driver's side. And then of course we have a bunch of hardware, uh, nuts and washers and all that sort of stuff. Body Armor 4 before also includes uh, these to mount uh, a light bar right there. So you do have that singular uh, cutout right there. So if you are if you have a, a four inch light bar that has a singular attachment point, you can attach it there or on either side, one there and one there. You can attach your L brackets, right? Just right, right in there. And then uh, that way you can mount a four inch light bar that has the connectors on each end. Don't worry about all the other junk that I got on my desk because I got a lot of projects I'm working on right now, but uh, these are all the parts laid out, right? We already went through the unboxing and everything like that. So we got the two high clearance side wings. We got the mounts. We got all the associated hardware. These screws right here, it's gonna be going through these screw holes or these like, I don't know, bolt holes, cutouts in the metal or whatever. And then those are gonna be mounting to the adjacent spot on the back of the side wing, just like that. So, uh, first, what I'm gonna do is, I talked about having these guys. So just so I don't lose the hardware, I'm gonna get these installed, right? So uh, body armor includes these four screws right here, and then we have 
um, eight of these small washers and then just a little uh, lock nut. So as you can see, this is gonna be a 10 millimeter and it's both the uh, lock nut and the bolt are 10 millimeter. Just lift it up here so you can see, uh, I ended up mounting them the opposite direction actually, because once I had the bolt in there, uh, it was sticking out just below the wing. So I was like, you know, I'll do it the other way. Um, so I don't have them super tight in there. I didn't want to mess up the uh, uh, powder coat or anything, um, but I got them on there just tight enough so they're not gonna like wiggle and rattle and stuff like that up there, which would also mess up the powder coat. But I'm gonna leave them installed just like that. And that's where they're gonna stay until I get uh, a four inch light bar, which I haven't decided exactly what I'm gonna go with yet. So I'm gonna go ahead and repeat this process on the other side, and then we'll get into getting these installed in the truck. One thing I didn't really talk about is just the absolute quality of these parts, right? I mean, the the, the bends, the edges are just, they're, they're so perfect. The welds aren't the most beautiful thing in the world, you know, but they are uh, discreet and I don't know, they're, they're just, it looks so good. It looks sturdy, it looks strong, and I'm very excited to see these um, in addition to the build on my truck, so. The other thing about the welds, you know, it doesn't have to be perfect. Um, and the fact that these are like factory made, uh, that it's not going to be perfect because these guys put in so much work every single day in order to push out this product so that people like me can go and get them installed uh, so our trucks can look badass. Um, so, yeah. Anyways, I just kind of wanted to point that out a little bit. Just the uh, precision looks great. Anyways, here we go. And just like that, they're both installed. Uh, something actually really cool I forgot to talk about that Body Armor 4x4 included were these little plastic protectors right here. Um, so when we go to install these bolts, we can actually throw these protectors down. And they'll help to keep the powder coat uh, from getting scratched and uh, you know attacked by the bolt and all that sort of stuff. So it's pretty cool, minimizing rust. Oh boy, so next we get to do, again, uh, something that we've done so many times already, which is remove the entire front end of the truck. So, as you guys have seen uh, on multiple occasions, I'm sure, first step, get this out of the way, and then we're gonna be removing the front grill. Now to do that, super easy, right? We got two 10 millimeter bolts, one here, one here, and then we have one pop tab here, and we have one pop tab here. And once we have all those out, the grill just kinda like slides out this way, no problem. Uh, make sure you disconnect your Raptor lights so that you don't rip those off when you do so. Okay, now we get to do the fun part of taking the bumper off again. Uh, I'm not gonna mess with the Body Armor 4 before one just yet. Uh, we're gonna be taking off the big outer boy uh, so that we can mark up some lines and get to cutting. Uh, on this plastic so yeah so first step here we're gonna be popping these out um, in order to do that you got to go into here as you can see mine have been torn up from water and stuff if you guys saw that video when I took uh, the coma through some big ass puddles and then it pushed this up in here and well now this is that but we're gonna be popping out this 10 millimeter bolt screw whatever and this is really loose so I need to do this with my hands we'll be taking this out then you got this, uh, which is not attached to my fender, uh, but it should be attached to yours. So you can take that one out. So if you get inside here, um, there's some body clips that are attached to the plastic of the fender flare. Um, and I can't really get my fingers in on it. Oh, there's one. You can kind of pinch that clip in and then push the fender flare out. So you can see that, that clip right there. Um, and on the left side of it, it's got just a little push tab. So yeah, you pop that out. We're gonna do that on both sides. You only have to do those two because uh, we're only taking the bumper off right here. We don't have to go any further than that. So I'm gonna do that to the other side and then we're gonna keep going. I guess I just got left, lucky on the left. There's actually three tabs, that's my bad. So there's two on the bottom here and one on the top. That third one over here must not have been entirely uh, connected because it came right out. So now that's off. Uh, so that is released. The next step that we have to do, we're going to pull off 
these four pop tabs here and I'm missing one. That's cool. And the other thing that we can do is we can disconnect uh, this plug right here, which I believe is running to the fog lights. Um, yeah, so these four, and you have another one here, number five, and number, number, another one here, number six. I totally forgot. You got two or uh, four more bolts down here, right up underneath the bumper. So you got one here, one here, both 10 millimeter, and these are uh, attaching the front of that fender like inner fender to the uh, the bumper itself. So make sure you take those off too. This part right here is a little interesting to be able to take off. You have to pull out um, to the side because it like pops in that way. Uh, so if you can like reach your hands up under here and then just pull out at the same time as kind of pulling forward away from the truck from the front end, uh, it should pop right out. We'll do that to both sides and then we should be able to lift that bumper um, right up and out. Also, don't forget that if you have duct tape holding your bumper in place, to remove the duct tape before removing your bumper. This is what the bumper's hooking onto, right? You have these three, one, two, and three little like press tabs that literally just rest in this groove right here. Um, so I promise you, if you pull hard enough, they will come out. You may have to take your fender flare off a little bit more though. Uh, in order to do so. So next, uh, we're gonna be installing the wings, or the wing mounts, right? And so these are gonna end up going right in there. It's gonna mount directly to those three factory frame bolts that are holding it in place. And just re reiteration for these guys, this one, or these three factory bolts right here, one, two, and three, um, are gonna be a 9 16 and then the included body armor 4x4 uh, through bolt here for the frame. The back one, I have no idea. So I'm just gonna use an all 16 And then the front one is uh, an 18 millimeter, because why not? Hey, also I got fed up with using the all 16 uh, and I realized that it is a 19 millimeter that you can use. So yeah, 19 millimeter for those uh, other side of the, the big bolts. So if you do have a winch and your 20 inch light bar installed, just be wary that you do have cables and stuff that are running. You may want to disconnect those before you take the bumper off. As you can see, I have all the bolts undone. It's just resting there. Um, I'm going to just lift it up, slide in a plate, and put it back. And then uh, we'll see how that goes. But I'm going to attempt to do this without taking off my winch cables. Hey, it's Midnight Sun from the future. So, I realized I made a big mistake um, on this install. And I'm gonna show you the right way to do it uh, and totally delete the footage from before. So, here we are, right? We got the bumper all set up and, and good to go. The biggest thing that I had incorrectly is this support plate right here that we have mounted to the wing. I put it between the frame and the uh, actual bumper itself right it doesn't go there it goes uh, in front of the bumper right on the same mount that way once you tighten it all up it is gonna be in line with the actual bumper itself so don't do that just continuing on with this video um, just be aware that uh, if you mount the the wing bracket or the, the the mount that goes to the wing into the to the frame um, on the uh, front end of the bumper instead of between the bumper and the frame I promise you everything will fit much more better than uh, it did for me. So it didn't look bad. I was just confused because there were some gaps and stuff like that. So uh, yeah, moving forward, keep that in mind. Uh, here we go. So before I tighten the wings down, I got that main bolt on for this guy, but before, before I tighten the wings down, um, I'm going to leave them loose for now. Uh, that way we can get the, or sorry, the supports. That way we can get the wing installed and get it all lined up uh, with the supports. And then we'll tighten that down at the end once everything's in line. So I'm going to get the big bolt installed on the other side along with the three nuts just kind of like screwed on and then we'll move on. Up next to the wings and this should be relatively straightforward. So we have 
these uh, mounting pieces, the nut and bolt, that have been conveniently welded into place. That one, and then also this one. We have these little plastic protector pieces, and then we have our washers, we have our lock washers, and we have our nuts. Sorry, I'm uh, unlocking the car with my, my key. But uh, yeah, so basically, we're gonna be taking the wing, and we're gonna be resting it right up along the edge here, just like as you can see. And then we're gonna align the, uh, the holes there. We can use our included parts and pieces. Slide these in from the inside here, right? And then we'll put our uh, plastic piece, our plastic protector piece, followed by a washer, followed by a lock washer, followed by a nut. And that's what we're gonna do for all six bolts. So I've already sort of kind of aligned it a little bit right there for you. Um, but I'm gonna hold this uh, in place the way that I want it. I'm gonna tighten down first the support plate for the wing. That way we can get a more exact positioning for the wing itself. And then we're gonna tighten the wing down. The nuts on the back of the uh, high clearance wing are gonna be a 5 8 So 9 16 5 8 tighten those, align, and then tighten those. So before you completely tighten these down like an idiot, uh, Body Armor 4x4 includes these little pieces of gasket material. We actually need to install these right here to prevent rubbing between uh, the wing and the plate. And basically, this just slides over top of the edge here. You may have to squeeze it, work with it a little bit, but eventually it will go, as you can see. And you just kind of work it all the way down. And then we just trim off the extra there. So we got that gasket on there. And we got the support wing or the support portion kind of clamped down. Uh, if you guys have been running your Body Armor 4x4 uh, front bumper for a while, like I have, uh, I've had it on here for going on a year now. Uh, you may have a little bit of rust spots popping up from where the front bumper was rubbing against the metal. So what I might do is in a couple of these spots, um, just kind of get a little, a little bit of touch-up paint just to hit it. So I'll. Uh, Scrub those off real quick. Get a little bit, of, a little bit of covering on it just to just to protect the metal. Uh, yeah, and just like that, the wing is on. So I got it all tightened down now. It's all solid. I got the rubber gasket on there to help protect. A little bit of touch-up paint just kind of drying on the bumper itself. It'll go. It'll dry flat. Uh, we're gonna do the same thing on this side, right? So we're gonna get the wing soft fit on this side. We're gonna tighten up those, tighten up the wing, and then we get to move on. To cutting the plastic. Oh man, so exciting. Always the best part. Ah, both sides are installed and looking gorgeous. If I do say so myself. So I had an extra little piece of uh, that gasket material I threw right here. Because as you can see, this material is resting right up against the edge there. So next step, we're getting to cutting. I love it. Take your tape measure, your ruler, whatever you got, and you're gonna mark a half inch down from uh, effectively like this this body oops sorry this body line that you can see at the bottom of the fog lights you're gonna mark a hatchet half inch below that right I already kind of did it I know you can't see it too well on the camera but it's running along right there um, and then on this side where this notch is right here this little set aside screw notch that your uh, inner fender attaches to you're gonna mark from the bottom of that um, was it three eighths inches to approximately a half inch. So somewhere between three eighths and a half inch below that. And then you'll make your second mark. And then we're gonna make a straight line coming from here all the way down to that one, running all the way across this. And uh, I'll show you what that looks like in a second. So you can kind of doctor it up how you want it, but that's pretty much how it's gonna end up looking. Uh, so I'm gonna cut this with a jigsaw and I'm probably gonna cut it uh, shallow. I'm gonna drop or cut it about a on the bottom end of this line, I think. Um, it's about an eighth of an inch shallow. That way I can do a quick test fit and just kind of make sure that it's looking right on the bumper and then we'll cut it a little more from there. Doing a quick test fit, I think that's pretty good. Yeah, I think I'm gonna trim a little bit more off of this corner and just even it out with this side right here. And we should be pretty good and then we'll work on the other side. And see now with this gasket on here, it's gonna rest pretty perfectly uh, in place. And the nice thing is, is that they included enough gasket that you can run all the way around 
for the entirety of the rest of your bumper. So you can take the old one off and uh, put a new one on. One thing else I'm gonna do is I'm gonna trim this one back just a little bit too, um, because I didn't like how far it was sticking out the first time I did it, and I told myself that when I took the bumper off again, I'd do it again. So we're gonna do that too. Talk about making a mess of the floor, my God. All right, so before I snap it all down into place, we're just gonna get one final look all around, and it's looking pretty good. I think it's pretty darn good. All right, I'm gonna get the bumper snapped on in the front. And then uh, once I reinstall it right, so I'm gonna pop both ends in, I'm gonna put the four pop tabs in here, the two in right here. Next, we're just gonna be picking our, our best line right here on the fender following the edge of the gasket material. And then we're just cutting it and then uh, placing it back in. So let's do it. So you can actually measure it, or you can just eyeball it like me. And uh, yeah, so I'm gonna go ahead and cut this and see where it gets me. Now we will kind of just repeat this process on the other side. I did break my tab here, pulling it out. So I'm gonna have to put a little double-sided tape to hold that down for now. Eventually these are getting replaced too. But uh, the next step is pretty much just kind of choosing your best fit for how you want um, your fender to go. Body Armor 4 before doesn't really give you a whole lot of guidance on that. Um, you could cut it off. You could you know, use a heat gun and just kind of bend it up into here, uh, which is also totally fine. I can take off my duct tape. So yeah, you can heat gun it and then bend it all up in there or something like that. Um, or like I said, just chop it. That's probably what I'm gonna do and just leave it mounted from uh, these two bolts right here. And then of course you have, uh, there's a body clip in there on the left. So I'm probably just gonna line it up straight across from there. And that's how I'm gonna do that since this is already non-existent. But uh, if you guys don't have a big hole there, you may want to preserve more of your inner fender uh, than I currently have. So, uh, when in doubt, use your trusty crafting scissors to cut your plastic. It doesn't have to be perfect, it just has to be functional. Just kind of push all these pop tabs back in place that I was knocking around there. Yep, so scissors were used, and voila. You already saw that side, but here's the other side. It's a match. It's pretty good. It's not the most straight thing in the world. I gotta add another body kick in here because I'm missing one. But uh, yeah, and there it is. The bumper is fully installed and very, very sexy looking. Uh, next, we gotta get the grill thrown back on, which is super easy. You just snap it back into place and then add your uh, pop clip here, pop clip here, and then your two 10 millimeter screws. So I'm gonna go ahead and throw that back on and then we'll take a peek at it from the front. So we went from this guys to that. Hell yeah. Well, there you have it, my dudes. That's the final look. And it looks definitely better than it did before. So now this right here, the wing and the bumper lines actually line up how it should be uh, which I didn't do the first time because I didn't realize my mistake but uh, I fixed it and it works good it looks good I had to cut the body a little bit more uh, because the wings set I don't know differently when the uh, bumper was no longer like sagging down because I had this like quarter inch gap right here which you've probably seen by now but uh, it's all fixed good. Dude, so that is the Body Armor 4x4 Highline High Clearance Side Wings. Um, not a hard install. Obviously, I made a little bit of a mistake because I uh, I didn't have any references, right? I was just kind of like shooting from the hip-ish. Uh, I was following the instructions, but uh, obviously not well enough. So 
anyways you can mount them the way that i had them and it will totally work um, you just won't line up the body lines right there and for some reason it was making the bumper dip a little bit lower than uh, what it was doing before so i guess maybe that had a little bit of an effect on it too but I fixed it and it looks better now uh and i like it so i hope you guys have enjoyed more upgrades coming soon we're looking forward to it catch you guys next go around i mean i sign up